Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about having your North Node in your partner's second house in Sinistry. So for those who don't know, Sinistry is basically a form of using astrology to examine the compatibility between two people's birth charts. It can give a greater understanding of the compatibility in a relationship, be that romantic, platonic, or even a business relationship of any kind. You can use Sinistry to gain more awareness um, when it comes to navigating or having a greater understanding of the relationship. In this video, I'm going to be talking about having your North Node in your partner's second house. And so when we're looking at the second house, we're really looking at the house of values, finances, and self-worth. And so when we're looking at the second house in Sinistry, we're really looking at and trying to understand how another person is going to be adding to our sense of security and our sense of well-being, especially when it comes to the more material side of well-being in a relationship. And when we look at the North Node, this is more like the karmic lessons, the life purpose and opportunities to be able to grow towards getting closer to fulfilling that life purpose and how a relationship can really bring those opportunities and how people can be guided towards being able to reach or to fulfill that higher life purpose together within this relationship. So when somebody has someone's not note in their second house, with the synastry between two people, what it does is bring a focus towards the second house and that has to do with self-worth and finances. So there's going to be opportunity to experience a lot of growth when it comes to these areas for both of the partners. What can happen with this is that the house person could find that the North Node person is here to teach them around the topic of the second house which is finances, self-esteem, um, self-worth, values and the North Node person coming into the second house person's life can kind of bring a ability to shine a light on the second house person's talents or help them when it comes to being able to recognize and even put to use their talents and their skills in a way that is going to be more practical or in a way that's going to generate a bigger return or income when it comes to what they are really investing themselves in. It's also going to teach the second house person around the different ways in which they can navigate finances and the North Node person can also shine light on really the different ways in which the second house person can practically handle things like budgeting and planning and spending and generally taking care of themselves especially financially and doing so in an independent way with the north node person coming into the second house person's life they're gonna bring out these very valuable lessons especially around self-sufficiency and also when it comes to being independent around being able to take care of themselves and develop that strong sense of self-worth and self-reliance. So the second house person may have been neglecting certain responsibilities and they could have been somewhat dependent when it comes to certain responsibilities. And with the synastry, they have a shared sense of responsibility around the finances and they can really enjoy being able to work towards certain financial goals together and with this industry, what it can also bring is that they both have a similar mindset around the finances and attract a lot of growth in this area. And so it can be a very abundant and very prosperous kind of a connection between two people. They can also work quite well together. Say if they wanted to start a business together or some kind of a venture, to, joint venture. Also with the synastry, the second house does show the talents and the skills that a person has. So with the North Node person, the North Node coming into the second house person is life. It kind of is able to recognize the skills and the talents that the second house person has and they also encourage it. There's a very supportive energy between the two partners and the North Node person can really encourage and in, and inspire the 
second house person to tap into those skills and those talents and put them to to good use in a way that's going to generate an income and they can really work quite well together as well with a lot of growth in anything that they're working on together and they could really both prioritize financial well-being in this relationship and have a goal of being able to create that solid foundation for the future and both of the partners could also very much prioritize being able to create a comfortable secure home environment and generally they want material stability and security within this relationship and generally they can have a very like-minded mindset around finances wealth and this century does kind of quicken that way of looking at wealth for both of the partners and when it comes to the way in which the house person feels about the north node person is depending on the house person they can feel challenged or they can feel like the north node person is kind of taking them out of a comfort zone and is forcing them to face what they have been avoiding or what they may have been trying to put off or they may not want the north north person's input in this area and it can also trigger feelings of inadequacy for the house person but it can also mean that they feel very inspired by the north node person and they can feel very interested and very intrigued in the north node person almost like there's a sense of destiny and a sense of deep meaningful purpose behind the reason why the north node person has come into the house person's life and they have something to teach them and that can be very inspiring to the house person and both the north node person and the house person feel like they need what the other is bringing to them and there really is valuable lessons that they're both teaching each other in this relationship. The North Node person can really encourage a sense of self-worth and sense of being empowered, especially around being stable and being independent, especially around things like finances and self-worth. The synastry can bring a lot of emotional support, especially from the North Node person to the house person. And for the house person, the house person can feel like the North Node person is making them feel like they are, they have a sense of security and also there's the sense of being valued. And also for the North Node person, the North Node person can also learn a lot from the house person and they can also see the house person's relationship with them as being a learning opportunity for them too. If the North Node person has been going through life without having had resolved perhaps a past issue that may also have to do with self-esteem um, and it is something that is going to be brought up to the surface especially because this the synastry does bring that sense of support and nurturing which will kind of enable the North Node person to be able to practically deal with those issues pretty much the relationship is really one that is centered around emotional security and emotional support but also this understanding of give and take especially when it comes to the give and take around the support the resources the love and it's also going to also mean that they also going to be two individuals empowering each other when it comes to being able to be more independent around especially finances and taking care of themselves and also when it comes to self-esteem and ultimately this is a great placement for them being able to grow in their sense of self-worth and also being able to recognize their value especially for the second house person who can also really grow in their self-confidence because the north node person recognizes their worth their talents and there's this deep understanding between the two partners when it comes to values and when it comes to material stability and this synastry does show the opportunity to be able to grow together and to learn a lot from each other especially when it comes to the security the material stability and sharing resources together within a relationship well that does it for this video on having your north node in your partner's second house 
instant street thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel for more videos well that is where i love and leave you thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video bye guys